Thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Vogan's US Outlook. We're not done with the storminess in California in the West just yet, but certainly uh, our eyes are now starting to shift further east in terms of snow and cold. We do have a, a kind of clipper-like setup at the moment, pushing through from Canada over the Great Lakes and into the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region as well. We also seen some snow down into the DC area. We've not seen much of that this winter so far. But uh, we are starting to kind of, these systems are going to be pulling in somewhat colder air than what we've seen of late. We're going to see temperatures in the big cities, the 9 to 5, dropping into the teens, I think. Um, and, of course, uh, colder than that further west in rural areas. But uh, you can see here this initial system coming through, uh, some kind of rain, sleet, snow mix, maybe some icing as well for New York City, a little bit more in the way of snowfall further north into uh, New England here, uh, rather quiet across the California region at this moment in time through the middle part of this week, but things turn more active as we go towards the weekend here. But certainly we've got, uh, like I say, a series of clipper-like systems coming through. Notice the, 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 the sharp contrast here between the uh, thickness values here, uh, 516 up near the Canadian border, and we've got the 540 line, uh, down over just to the south of uh, Richmond, Virginia here. So we've got a fairly sharp cutoff here between low thickness values and reasonably high thickness values here. And that is going to be the zone that we watch for a system coming in uh, from the west here. We've got that over the northern portion of the Rockies. But as we push through this week here, we're watching that feature here. We're also watching... Uh, the system coming into California. So it's going to bring more heavy rainfall, potential flooding, landslides. We've seen one in LA over the last couple of days. And uh, we're going to see more significant snowfall, I think, for the Sierra Nevada mountains here. But as this system pushes through, we're going to kind of uh, see a shot of uh, fairly cold air, the coldest air that we've seen really in a while pushing in through the, the upper Midwest here. So uh, places like Minneapolis could go below zero quite easily. Uh, single digits for Chicago and Detroit. And we could, like I say, see the temperatures into the big cities, the day five dropping into the teens here. So as we go into the weekend, all eyes in the system coming into the West, we see that dip in thickness values. Notice here now we've got that 516 thickness value sitting just to the north of uh, New York City here. 510, 504. So it's modestly cold Arctic air. And I say that because, you know, it's late January. You typically see the coldest weather of the year at this stage. So it takes a lot for it to get, you know, abnormally cold because you typically expect it to be cold at this time of year. But uh, I do think we are going to see some substantial chill in the air as we leave the work week and begin the, the weekend here. Because you can see here, uh, by the time we skip out to a uh, early Saturday morning, you've got a 1034 high sitting over Western Illinois system offshore. And you can see here that underneath the, this kind of sl relatively slack wind field, we've got the thickness values of uh, 510 nearly down to New York, 516 nearly down to DC and 540 line, rather than being uh, up over central Virginia, it's sitting over North Carolina and further south here. So we're starting to see that air come out of Canada into the northeastern half of the country while things really liven up here across the western half of the country. It's this feature here over the west that we need to watch out later this weekend for a potential snowstorm over the, uh, the mid-Atlantic region of the country here. Still a lot of uncertainty as to how far north the track goes, how far south, but... Uh, you can see here as we go into the weekend itself uh, that we've got that system then starting to push through the uh, midsection of the eastern half of the country here. And there's a lot of uncertainty, like I say, as to what we're going to see in terms of snowfall, rainfall, ice, so on and so forth. Then we've got another system coming into the western half of the country bringing more rain and snow. But you notice here that the, the cold air kind of lifts out with that system. Uh, we've got milder air coming through. The 540 line rushes all the way up into southern New England here, if you notice here. And then we've got another system comes through. So we've got this continued active weather pattern 
but because we're seeing strat warming taking place, significant strat warming, may I add, and you start to get that downwelling effect into the troposphere, of course, the colder pouring down into the troposphere from the stratosphere tends to kind of shrink the troposphere, I believe, and therefore you cool the lower levels of the atmosphere with that transfer in energy here. So we're going to continue to see bitterly cold Arctic air, I think, push south towards the lower 48 and with a very active pacific jet still taking place we're going to see that collision between mild and warm and of mild and cold should I say and of course that uh, is an incubating region for psychogenesis storminess snowstorms it's this time of the year that we're watching for big snowstorms and there is the potential for a major arctic outbreak i think during february as well so we're seeing that kind of borderline bitter cold but uh, I think we've got the opportunity here with the stratospheric warming taking place to see that bitterly cold Arctic air pour back into the lower 48 as we go through the month of February. So a lot of things on the table here. Keep it right here on MarkFolkenWeather.com. I appreciate if you're watching YouTube and do visit the website. It's entirely free, of course. Now, there's no charge or paywall behind any of the material. Hope you have a great Tuesday. And I'll be back again in the next few days. Bye for now.